Hello ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm gonna to be talking about demons. Everyone goes through these type of stuff, depression, anxiety, just feeling down. Those are demons. Those are demons getting to you and trying to put you down. Let's say you went to school, you finished school and you had a bad day. You come home, you're tired, you put your bag, put you put you put you you throw your bag in some random place. Put your, throw your coat in some random place. You're just having a you're just in a bad mood after school, and instead of taking clothes and putting home clothes, you just sit there. Just you're just you're just mad. You're, just, you're overthinking, having bad thoughts, stressing over something so petty as as a school day. Those are demons. Those are demons filling in your thoughts with bad energy. You know what I'm saying? As I ask anything with life, work life, you're having a bad work day, the and customers the customers the customers on that day are rude or you know, there may not be enough customers so you just wasted a whole day without even doing anything, like anything in your life. If you're just having a bad day and you over, and you overthink and you and you overthink on that bad day, those are just bad thoughts creeping into you and those little demons speaking to you saying keep thinking about those thoughts and don't think about anything positive don't think about anything productive just keep thinking about those thoughts until the next day or in the next couple of days because that will make that person lazy and that will make that person unmotivated demons love unmotivated people demons love people doing this doing the same thing Doing the same bad habit repeatedly without repenting, without doing anything to improve yourself. They love that shit, man. They love it. And if you keep doing the same thing repeatedly, the same bad habit repeatedly without repenting, you could have you. Everyone is us. Everyone is sinners. Everyone are sinners. Me, you, the priest, the sheikh, that the the get that's given the hotbar. Everyone is a sinner. You know what I'm saying? No one is perfect. That's why they're sinners. That's why there's hell. Why does sin exist? Why does Allah, why does God let you sin? It's simple. To repent to Him. If Allah doesn't let you, Allah wants you to sin. Allah is is begging you to sin so, he can rep- so you can repent to Him and so He can forgive you. So everyone sins. But if you're just doing the same sin, same addiction, like drinking alcohol repeatedly, and you know it's bad for you, and you've done, and you've had a really, and you had bad moments of drinking alcohol, but you still do it, and you're not repenting. That will, that will, you'll, you'll, you'll get, you'll get consequences. You'll either get yourself killed, or you probably get, kill you, you probably kill yourself, or you do some stupid shit. Smoking. Mm, if you don't repent and you don't, if you don't stop, lung cancer. You know what I'm saying? Vaping or anything. Poor addiction. You know what I'm saying? Any type of addiction, any type of bad addiction. You will have consequences. Those demons are on your head, telling, telling you. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. It's it's giving you that dopamine rush. Let's say you're really bored on on that. You're really bored on that day. Got nothing else to do. And the demons are creeping up into your head, creeping up, giving you, uh, whispering in your ears, saying, "Hey, got nothing else to do, man. Got nothing else to do. Why don't you go on that app? Just go on that dirty website. Why don't you smoke a couple?" Couple of those blunts. Why don't you drink a couple? Get that pain out of you. Get that stress out of you. Those demons will make you do those those bad habits and make it into and make you think it's good habits. It's as simple as that. Everyone are going through addiction. Even the people that trying to motivate they're still going through stuff everyone are, is going through i'm going through stuff everyone are going through stuff it's the it's the thing that it's the thing that drives people into keep pushing themselves the drive to will the drive to live it's god you know what i'm saying if you have god on your side who can stop you everyone believes in something even the atheist with with him living he has to believe in something right he believes in science He's a, he's a believer in science. That's his God. His God is science. What's the belief of the LGBTQ plus community? Their belief is the rainbow flag. Their belief is their own ideology. You know what I'm saying? Everyone has a belief. Don't tell me, oh, I don't believe in something. Because you do. You follow something. Social media. 
If your if your life is just filled, if your life is just social media, if your life is just content creation, you're in love with content creation. You're in love with social media, and you just and you, and your whole life and your whole personality is based off social media. Your God is social media. Your life is social media. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying, but it, but you have to choose who or what you want to follow, and what effect does that do to you if you follow it? If you follow God. And you listen to his rules, and you repent whatever sin you got, you got, and you repent whatever sin you do, and gain knowledge, and you understand why you've done was wrong. You will, you will live a good, peaceful, and normal life. There, were, there was all, there's all, even if you are a good Muslim, there's gonna be struggles. There's gonna be obstacles on the way. God rewards the people who struggles the most, who gives who. Allah give Allah rewards the people who puts themselves into cha- puts themselves through challenges. God purposely put put you there, put you through those challenges, put you through those tough times, so you can get out of it, repent to Him, and be a better human being, be a better Muslim. You know what I'm saying? So the, those demons will keep creep onto you. They will slowly say, "Hey, you're, you're being your your." You're being a good person. You're being a better human. You're not. You're. St- you're. You're. You're removing yourself from all those addictions. Why? Where's the fun at? You. You've stopped having fun with your friends. You've stopped going out. You've stopped talking to all those girls. You stopped living life. Those words would creep in again once you become better as a human. And then you slowly sink in to your bad ways. And you add it again, and again, and again. Those demons will never stop. Even if you're a good, holy person, whatever religion you're from, Christianity or Islam, even if you're a good, holy person, those demons will creep onto you, whether you like it or not. And it's your choice. It is your mind power. It is your willpower to stop those demons, stop those demons coming to you. And it's a struggle for everyone. It is a struggle for everyone. It's a struggle for me. It's a struggle for you. It's a struggle for the next person. It's a struggle for your father. It's a struggle for your, mo- for your mother. It is a struggle for everyone. You know what I'm saying? Those demons will creep onto you. Tell you these weird boys trying to manipulate you into... Into coming into that bad life again. Using the word fun. You know what I'm saying? Was it truly fun that you were going to these parties? Talking to these girls? Now having these weird relationships multiple times is it was it really fun was it really fun smoking a smoking or vaping left right and center whenever you talk to your mates was it really fun having an one hour and a half or two hour three hour session talking to your friends talk to your friends while vaping or smoking or whatever was it really fun of you sitting in your laptop having watch trying to scroll to your fifty second page. Of trying to find the right video, and after you find the right video, you're not after a minute or 45 seconds. Was it really fun? The truth is, it's not. It's obviously not fun to do that if you look deep into it. And the way to stop it is to look deep into your roots and to look deep into those problems and where did it start? It's not about NoFap. NoFap is bullshit. It's not about stopping instantly. It's about looking deep into those roots, go, go to a dark room. Not a dark room, but go to a quiet room and just think. You don't have to meditate, but just think. What got me here? What got me to this dark place? What got me to do this type of stuff? And what got me to be unmotivated? How did this even happen? Look deep into your roots. Do look deep into your roots. Look deep into your childhood. You always start when you were a child. The porn addiction, whatever, it starts when you're the porn. The porn addiction, it starts when you're ten or nine or eleven. That's when you first find the first find your first website. It's disgusting. It's truly sad. Ten or eleven, whatever age you start at, a very young age. Look at people. What made me do this? And I, I also want to talk about friends. Those your those friends you have. Those could be demons. There are demons everywhere. Your friends, family. You can't trust anyone in this world nowadays. It is very difficult to trust friends. Demons will lash, will will come to you, not just through your household, but in your but outside college or secondary school. 
There are there was there are many times where you go to secondary school, you gain a couple of friends, like four, five five friends, a couple of five friends, and you talk to them, you have fun with them every after school or lunchtime or break time, you know, having a good time. But when when what when bad thing happens in your life and you're trying to and you want their help, they don't have you're not there you're not there for, they're not there for you. You've helped, you've, but you, but before that, before that bad thing happened in your life, you've helped them so many, you've helped them so many times, you've, you've, you've helped them in tough times, you gave them knowledge, you tried to help them in tough times, you hanged out with them without, you hanged out with them, and which, um, and on the time which you shouldn't, which you shouldn't hang out with them, but you still did, but when it was, when, when it's time for them to help you, silence. This is why you should choose your friends wisely. I would never understand the people who are in huge friend groups to, of 10 plus friend groups. 10 plus friend groups. And they're surprised in a couple, after a couple years, they break up. Or after a couple, I've seen it happen. There was, there was, there were three girls, the three musketeers, the three musketeer hoes in secondary school. Since you're seven to, I, I believe you're ten, they were the best friends. Oh my god, they can never break up. Guess what? One, two of the girls were, uh, one, two of the girls were arguing with one girl. The three girls were arguing, but two was against one, and they broke up. And now this other girl, and uh, they broke up, and now one girl is, and the, the other girl, this one, two girls are together, and one girl is now chilling with some, and the chilling with, was chilling with some other girl. So they broke up instantly, and everyone was surprised, like what? They broke up why? Well, it was, it was just some, some petty shit. They were just arguing over, to, over, over the phone. And then they broke up. The, their relationship was done. And that was only two. And those two, and those two friends who were together, still together, they broke up as well because of some petty argument. These girls, especially boys, they, 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 they break up as well some, some petty argument. Some, some, some boys. But mainly girls would whenever they argue, it's all and this break up because of some petty argument. It's pretty pathetic. And those are demons. Those are demons lashing onto you, shouting ah. But you can never forgive. When you keep shouting, when you say oh I'm done with you, I'm done with you, those demons are telling you you had to be done with her. But you could have easily forgiven her. You could have easily talked it out like normal human beings. But those demons said nah, it's done. You know what I'm saying? Also, the people you work with, colleagues, they could have the, they could have they could have bad intentions. They could say, "Oh, can you help me with this assignment? Can you help me? Oh, can you help me do this? Or like, or oh, uh, if you if you pay me, I'll pay you this next week." Trying to use, trying to bribe you, trying to trying to use your kindness. This is what I'm saying. Never be too kind. Be kind, but be just. Be balanced. Because if you just be kind with everyone and be too kind and never. Actually, question what they do. Or question their mind. Question their intentions, and question what are you doing here. Just question them and just instantly help them without any reason, and not thinking why they're not going to the next person. Why me? Then you're gonna live, you're gonna have a bad life. Trust me. You're gonna have a, you're gonna lose a lot of money. You're gonna lose a lot. You're gonna lose a lot of yourself. You're gonna have you're gonna be mentally destroyed, and you're just gonna look stupid at the end of the day. And you have no one else to blame but yourself. Do not be too kind. Be just. Be balanced. And live a life of morals, dignity, peace. And a wokeness. Thank you. Follow me. Subscribe. Turn on notifications. Don't forget to click my link tree. All my social media is going to be on my link tree. Also join my Discord server. Everything's on my Discord. Anyway, see you next video. Bye. Goofies.